I'm over here at Crown Colony with Susan Kurt. This is the building that faces the intercoastal waterway. It's just undergone an extensive renovation to come up to the current code for engineering for cement and steel. Everything has been freshly painted. All assessments have been paid. It was a massive job and it looks really, really nice comparatively speaking. Right. So I'm here with Susan, Kurt, the listing agent. This is the kitchen. Come in on the front door and you have this L-shaped kitchen with a little pass through to the living room. And you're going to see once we get into this a little bit that um, not only is this unit larger, has a really nice balcony on it, but it has a nice view of the water, which is the heart, you know the biggest selling point. Um, Susan, does this have a washer and dryer? Uh, no, but I've seen them put in here. Okay, no washer and dryer in this one either. There's a sink in there too, in that closet. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Okay. So we have impact glass on that opening, and she says that the washer and dryer. If you, need, if you want to put one in, there or behind it. This house. it would go here in this closet. There's a sink right there where you would have a drain, and there's electric not too far away. So you could put one there; it would fit there. This bathroom has been is in decent condition. It doesn't look like it's been recently redone, but it's in good shape. So, um, nice unit. And going out, this room is quite large. Yeah, it's 1,700 square feet total. Yeah, this is a 1,700 square foot under air. under air unit. So it's much, much larger than these Colonial Ridge units you're looking at. This is on the ground level. And it has a very, very large master bedroom. Here is the master bathroom, which is kind of small. But if you wanted to make this into one big bathroom with a smaller closet, you could do that. Or you could figure out maybe how to put the washer and dryer here. Um, yeah. From the master bedroom, you can sit here, look out this sliding glass door and watch the boats go by. A fairly large patio. Is that door open over there? Yes. I'm going to go out that door. So here's your living room. And, um,. It's a kind of a corner unit. Is that a club? Is that the clubhouse over there? Yes. So that's a clubhouse, which you'd get, be able to not have to walk so far to get to. Is that door open? Oh, this door's open. What am I thinking? Okay, so got a closet here. This door. It's an air conditioner. massive patio here quite large I would say it's 40 feet of patio this is all impact glass if you wanted to open this up you could um, it's all tiled and you'd walk out this door right here and then you could go right over there and sit and enjoy the clubhouse amenity, which is right here. Looks like they, re they just redid these seawalls. I remember when they were doing this, it must have cost a, a literal fortune for them to redo this seawall, but it's a massive seawall with these batter pilings. 
Got a little day dock where Perry can come over and pick up, pick you up in the boat. There's the unit on the ground level. Here's the clubhouse, which is quite nice. And there's the Woolbright Bridge. And here is the, the clubhouse right here. I've quite honestly never been in that clubhouse. But it looks really nice, nice little party venue. You can come over here and have a cup of coffee in the morning if you wanted to. Some decent landscaping. It's a nice unit. Um, it's, I know it's not what you're asking for, but since I was with Susan this morning, I figured I'd come over. And they do have shutters for these uh, sliders, which are impact, so got double double coverage there thank you Susan what are they asking for this again 625 625 it's negotiable. it's negotiable and I think you could figure out how to put a washer and dryer in here and have a much larger winter home um, I kind of like it. I don't usually say that.